Hey guys, um, this is Jacek. Um, I can no longer say I'm from Cosmetic Garden. Uh, I'm officially no longer the owner of the company. So um, just so you guys know, I sold my company to very, very nice people. A bittersweet moment for um, for the soap maker like myself, because uh, in my heart, I will remain the soap maker for the rest of my life. Um, but I won't be selling soap anymore. Um, the, the people who bought this, um, are super nice people so if you if you were in the past um, cosmetic garden a customer please continue to do so um, now one thing I wanted to show you today you know I'm still in my heart a soap maker and um, it was brought to my attention so many times before guys that you know wrapping the soap is the issue um, I wanted to show you today creative ways of doing that now here's the thing it was always my idea and that's why I think I was able to grow my business so um, so fast and um, to the point that I was able to sell it, somebody so value in my company. It's simply because I always thought that packaging this in a handmade packaging but making them look beautiful and elegant um, was the key to my success. That's what I always thought. And, you know, and I think I'm not the only one who thought that because every time I'm posting um, a movie about, um, you know, how to package soap and stuff, it, a lot of people really, really like it. Now, you can buy a lot of these things out there and do it. Now, here are the two things. They're either very expensive to package your handmade soap. You know, if you're spending a dollar on packaging, how profitable can you be from selling a bar of soap? Um... And the other, um, the other thing is, if you're making this, you also have to be very, very smart about it and, and um, what you're buying to make the soap. And it also costs money if you don't know how to put this together. Now, what I want to show you today, the way I package my soap, no longer my soap, but I still call it my soap, um, is very elegant way um, to actually do it. And you can do it yourself. However, if you cannot do it, Okay, if you think like, oh, it's too much work, it's too much um, money, I'm not willing to spend that much. I will be actually posting some of this packaging um, on my um, eBay store. I'm just starting up with this. It's more of a hobby than a business. I told you once you're a soap maker, you, you remain to be a soap maker. Um, so um, my whole idea at this moment is to actually bring the soap packaging for less than 35 cents a bar delivered to your home. What you will need is probably like um, either glue or um, some tape to put it all together. But here it is. So just to give an example, this thing, that's how your soap can look like. And what you really need is a piece of white paper like this and some uh, pre-cut bands. That's exactly what happened here. You put it like this, you glue it together in a bag, you can trim it. Um, I left these pieces not finished intentionally because people have different um, bars of soap, some bigger, some smaller. But I wanted to show you if you put a sticker or label in a bag. Um, I don't know why it's getting foggy, but you can see and you can put that label big, as big as that whole um, side of the soap. Um, and then it's going to look very, very pretty. So I'm just showing you this. Um, that's how your soap can look like. Um, this is another idea, very fresh, very beautiful. A bigger, thinner bar here. Um, I mean, I'm sorry, thinner um, piece of paper. And then white with the black elegant kind of stripe going throughout this. Now I put a tape here which is visible. You can glue these pieces together and you, if you put a label here, it's not going to be visible. So just um, if you trim it also, it's not going to be visible. Now one thing I wanted to mention, look at this. Um, my idea was to always have it handmade. I, don't, I never wanted to have a factory made packaging for my soap because I wanted to have it handmade from A to Z. Um, so if you look at these pieces, they're actually pretty nicely made, but and I made them, so thank you so much. Um, but I just wanted to show you they are not perfect. So if, you, if you're looking for perfect cuts, um, perfect 
things you need to be focusing on what already was cut by some machines and stuff, not by humans. Um, because once you start cutting this, um, I mean, I trimmed it, it looks very nice. I don't think it's, I would be proud to have my soap like this if I still have my soaps. Um, and I wouldn't have a problem with this. Um, but if, if you think, you know, um, you might not like it, then you probably won't like it. Okay. Now the third part here, this is really, this is store-bought sticker, um, but I thought it looks very nice on this, very elegant. Um, and again, I'm not selling these labels yet. Um, probably I will at some point, but at this moment, I don't think I will. I, I don't think I, I, I have any to sell. Um, but what you, when you go to my eBay, I might not have this already because I don't know. I might give it to somebody. I might sell it. I don't know. But I'll I'll try to have something on my website, so at least it will give you idea. You will be buying um, something like this. So already made things. Remember, my idea is to have packaging for thirty five cents or less per bar of soap delivered to your house. So this will not be more than thirty five cents packaging. I mean, of course, you have to think of you buying a glue and a tape to put uh, something and making a label here. Yeah, true, you have to do it. Um, but other than that, this won't be a th more than 35 cents. Can you do it yourself? Most likely you can. And if you can, um, thumbs up to you. Um, I had the instances where I simply did not have time for anything like that, for cutting, pre-cutting, gluing, um, you know, putting this all together. So I didn't have time many times to do it. Um, I didn't have resources to go to the store and buy the best possible options. I sometimes I couldn't put things together. And if you have, if you're struggling with this, you know what I'm talking about. If you can envision how the two pieces can work together, then probably you can put them together. <laughs> That's why you're relying on somebody else. Uh, but I think I was always, um, I had a lot of compliments about how my soap looked like. Um, people really, really like them. They like the ideas that I had. Um, I was always trying to create them relatively cheaply, but um, staying on a budget, but look, making them look like a million bucks. Now, I would not be ashamed selling soap like this um, to a customer. Um, this would be really nice soap, and I think customers would also appreciate that because it looks handmade package, but at the same time, it looks very elegant. It can be given to um, a granny, it can be given uh, to your core worker, and you know, they'll be very pleased with receiving such things because it looks really, really nice, at least in my opinion. Maybe I'm just exaggerating a little bit, but I like them. I always like the way I was packaging my soap and staying on a budget. Anyway, guys, if you think there is a value for you to get something from my eBay store, and I'm gonna be working on it because you know when I, when I when I sold my cosmetic garden, I also sold my eBay store that was associated with that company. So um, I'll be working on a new eBay store. Bear with me; it might take some time. I'm not doing this um, much for a profit. It's more of a passion that I have um, for soap making and packaging. Um, at the same time, um, you know. It costs me money, so I have to get something, um, some money for it if you decide to, to get it, okay? Thank you guys so much, and um, I'll shoot another video about different soap packaging. Bye-bye.